Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to Loving It on Keto. How is everybody doing today? Hey you guys, I want to share what we had to eat yesterday. That was perfectly keto. Yesterday I had six ounces of steak and two eggs. Then I had one egg, a uh, leftover uh, spicy taco chaffle with 14 ounces of New York steak during the day. I had five on my chaffle and then I came back later and had the rest. I had chocolate toffee kitter chow ice cream for dessert. I had 12 grams of carbs, 87 grams of fat, 136 grams of protein. I had 1,397 calories. Harry had a six ounce beef burger patty, three eggs. Then he had one egg on top of a spicy taco chaffle, six ounce New York steak, and chocolate toffee keto chow ice cream. He had 15 grams of carbs, 101 grams of fat, 120 grams of protein, 1,462 calories. And you guys, we both went down. Yes, indeed. I went down two tenths. Harry went down two tenths. And you guys, we have a plan in place, which is our April beef, eggs, and butter challenge. And we have been following the plan. We are planned for success, and I have been successfully following the plan with all the craziness that's been going on in my life. This is the one thing I've been able to do. And you guys, if you wanna learn more and hear more about planning for success, stay tuned. Everybody to Chewing the Fat with Wendy, Harry, and Miss Little Sally Girl. She's right down here. Yes, she is. Ah, oh, you guys, we have been so busy today trying to get last minute stuff done before Harry's uh, hip replacement surgery. For all of those who are new, Harry's having his uh, left hip replaced on yeah. Tuesday. And we had a little bit of a hiccup, a little bit of a glitch. He had to get the long uh, C test done and PC PCR CR. test done. And the Walgreens that we did it at, we went yesterday to, to get some things. Um, we needed to get his high, high, high bug cleanse. Yeah, the soap, soap we gotta use that he's got to use, his protocol and some other things that he needed. And they had a big sign on the door and said, due to technical difficulties, this branch is closed. So I'm waiting for my email, trying to get the information, went to the different places they yeah, said to go for right. his C, for his uh, PCR test result for the big C um, that he needed to get. It needs to be negative. You have to, listen, here's how it works. You've got to pass, you can't have, you know, the big C if you don't get yourself surgery. So what they make you do is go get a test. It can't be the rapid it's one. It's got to be five days before the surgery. So it only gives you so a very I, narrow window. So we went to Walgreens, got the test, left. We never got the results. We called up, find out the place is closed. Well, no, we drove up. Yeah, and the, it's there's closed. a sign on the door, no lights on. Yeah, all closed. Oh. Like, okay, so we called. Okay, so maybe we can get the information. No, nobody knows. So we called another Walgreens that was open and said, can you guys... You know, get in, get that information. And she oh said, no, that's the laboratory. We can't do that. No, first they we told them what what was going confused. on, right? Okay. Anyway, long story short, I called Banner Urgent Care and told them that what what the short story was. They had us just come in today. They had no appointments left. They said just come in. They got the doctor's name when the surgery date was they said they're going to push it through they should have results right tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. and they'll call the doctor and let him know what that is we won't get any paperwork in time for it so hopefully fingers crossed so we've been running around doing that had to take care of ida i Your had mother. to go my Your mom mother. had to go and take all her bills to her she writes checks for all her bills she doesn't have internet won't do internet won't do automatic billing anyway we've had a very big day tried to do some stuff around here harry's uh not allowed to take any more pain meds or vitamins now or anything or ask baby aspirin or anything the only thing he's allowed to do is tech 
take his one half spirolactone. And a Tylenol. And a Tylenol. And Tylenol doesn't do nothing. So that's where we are. So we thought we'd come and sit down, you guys, to talk to you about uh, preparing. Because preparing ahead helps with the success. If you don't plan and prepare ahead of time, chances that you can fail at whatever you are doing, including keto, because you guys, Easter's coming up. That's a huge holiday for a lot of folks. <coughs> it's not only a religious holiday, but it's also a time of gathering for friends, families, for children. The Easter Bunny comes and visits with a big, huge basket of deliciousness <coughs> with chocolates and peepers and all kinds of things. So you guys need to prepare ahead of time so you are successful at staying keto. You know, if you need to, if it's going to bother you too much, go get one or two keto treats. If it's not going to trigger you, but you want something that you can have, you know, along with the rest of the folks. Now, we like Easter because that's when I cook a big fat ham right. or a prime rib roast or oh. both. And we take all those Easter eggs that we colored for the kids and make, make uh, deviled eggs right yeah. we have a charcuterie board and basically it's a keto yeah feast yeah. seriously yeah. other than the bread or the rolls that you serve with it and the dessert and i can whip up a dessert that nobody will know is keto yeah i know that yeah she fools them i fool them all the time yeah. with my cakes and stuff so they don't know they're eating a complete keto meal. <laughs> no they don't so prepare plan and prepare for success Decide what you're going to do. You can also call ahead of time if you're going to somebody's house. Usually it's a friend or a family member. You should feel comfortable enough to ask them what they're serving. You know, what are we having? Hey, can I bring something? I'd love to bring deviled eggs. How easy are deviled eggs? Or are you having a charcuterie board? Could I bring, you know, some charcuterie things? That works really good. You know, good. it works really, really yeah. good. It looks like you're really saving the day by That's bringing right. this big platter. It's all meat and cheese. Oh, yeah. You know, it's this great. is great. Or make a loaded broccoli casserole. Who doesn't like that? Let me tell you, if you don't get in line at Chalice's house for my for my broccoli casserole, yeah, you you're not going to get any because everybody is over there scooping up that cheese on top like with 30, the bacon. 40 you know, and the kids want to scoop the cheese. Yeah. One of the boys, and I'm calling him a boy loosely because he was. Yeah. Late teens, early twenties. Yeah. Was I caught him scooping all the cheese out? I go, what are you doing? I said, you can't do that. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta take the stuff. To you gotta stuff it below it. You gotta cut this. You gotta dig in, not scrape across the top. He laughed, and he uh, kind of laid his spoon down and redelved in. But he was gonna scoop half the cheese yeah, off the casserole. All of it. And it was like, what are you doing? It's like sitting there with tongs, crusty, picking, the, picking the bacon out, you know, something like that. So anyway, yeah, funny. plan ahead, okay? Plan what you're going to do. Plan on the food you're going to eat. If they have a pretty heavy carb-laden meal, take something you can eat and eat before you go. Another thing to do, I know this is weird, and it's a Wendy thing, but you guys take purse bacon. Make oh, a yeah. whole bunch of bacon the night before. Get a plastic baggie. Fill your purse with bacon. Right? Oh, yeah. And if you have to, go into another room and eat bacon. Because I'm telling you, you have bacon. You have deviled eggs. You can have olives. If you guys take the crudite or whatever, you can have some olives. You know, you can have a pickle. You can have deviled eggs. You can have the ham. You can have the meat. Whatever the meat dish is. And um, you can go from there or ask if you can bring, you know, Make yourself a keto something, or put even even taking a package of perfect keto cookies, or or high key cookies, or a chocolate quest cookie. Opening it up, taking it out of the package, especially if they have desserts. Where my daughter has like a dessert bar, and they have cookies and stuff like that at Christmas and things. So you could take a Quest cookie, chocolate chip cookie, break it into a couple pieces, put it into a napkin, right, yeah. and go around talking to mm. people and enjoy it. Nobody would even where'd you get the cookie over on the thing? They may or not may not have any left, right? But plan for success. 
because even though you're treating yourself, you're still staying keto. You're eating keto foods, you're doing the keto things, and I think that's the most important thing. You can enjoy the holidays, you can enjoy the food, especially ham. He'd double up on the ham, he'd double up on the prime rib. You know, I would make that broccoli casserole, and then he'd have eggs, and he'd have salami, and he'd have cheese, and he'd be so full. I'd be so happy. He'd be so happy and so full. We aren't going to be able to do that this year. Chalice is having Easter, yeah. and it's too close after Harry's surgery. Yeah, they live go. an hour away. It would be the driving and then sitting. Um, they have a, Dave's side of the yeah. family is very large, and yeah. they have folding chairs, folding tables. Not comfortable for well, Harry. We don't know how I'm going to be. That's true. We don't know. I'll, I'm basing it on me. Yeah, I know. The best thing to do is go by with her, and I'd say about two weeks. Yeah. Before you could actually really. I went get back involved. to work four weeks later. Yeah, four weeks. I, I couldn't drive, but you took me. So, plan ahead of time plan for success take some things for you you know um if there's going to be a ton of kids there and they're going to be eating get yourself a little least chocolate bar put it in your purse break off a few pieces at a time and have a few pieces if those things trigger you and you wouldn't eat them anyway then don't take them but get something you like to eat as a treat for you yeah because you know if you go there you're going to go oh, i want that and and don't do that. And if you're there, have something, have something with you. Yeah, then you have can. it. Treat yourself to a keto treat. Yeah, keto chocolate chip cookies. You know, keto high cheek see, high key cookies. You know, and I'm not saying go out and indulge or pig out or anything like that. But I'm just saying, you can have a wonderful day the with truth, friends it's kind of and fun. families and kids, and you can eat most of the good foods at the table and if not you can bring some good foods for yourself you can have some things in your purse that you can have and and enjoy the kids enjoy the easter egg hunt if you do an easter egg hunt at home you can enjoy the kids doing those things you know there's lots of things that you can do and enjoy yourself and not feel <coughs> deprived at all and not feel like oh woe is me you know and and start self battering yourself that you can't have and you can't this and you can't mm -hmm. that because you can it just needs to be keto and you need to do it the right way you know i'm not saying take a huge big sack and eat the whole thing you know portion control has always been on anything you know you don't go and pig out and have every piece of pie and every kind of cookie and every kind of chocolate you never should do that so Plan for success, but plan. Take some things, plan ahead of time, go shopping for yourself, by yourself. Get a few things, a few things. Always shop, especially if you're going shopping for keto treats for yourself, for an event. Be full. Great go day. after dinner. This is a great day to be able to go buy yourself a new purse. Ooh. Because Ooh. you're going to need Wait, 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 wait. Did everybody hear that? Because I don't get to go for Easter. Wait a minute. Say that again. No, no. If you're going to go, you got to have a bigger purse because you're going to have stuff in it. <gasps> so it's time for you to go get yourself a bigger purse. You got permission. Go got, get a bigger I, purse. I got permission to get a bigger purse. Because you're going to be carrying got... stuff for your husband, too, if he's doing oh, this. Oh, okay, okay. Because I want to be able to get my stuff out of that purse. You know. The good news is, is our Chalice's family and Dave's that's family. That's not shoes, Wendy. That's purses. Oh, purse. Okay. Well, I can do pretty good damage on purses, too, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, they all know that we're keto. They all know that, you know, we are very diligent when we first moved here and when they all first kind of met us here. Yeah. We were vegan, and we would bring vegan food and one of the uh one of david's nieces is vegan so she was very excited to try our food and stuff so um it's interesting because we i've never been bashful or afraid of bringing my own food my own stuff when i go to the restaurants i bring my own salt i bring my own condiments or things like that and i've never been afraid to have them and i've never had anybody tell me no never had no anybody because get it's more upset. food everybody loves more that's food, right. right and i've never had anybody get upset so you guys just remember plan on where you're going know what you're gonna do 
Decide what you're gonna have ahead of time. I've always done that with restaurants too. If we go someplace for family dinner, I will call the restaurant ahead, especially when I was vegan, ask, tell them what my requirements were, find out what they have, get the choices. It's easier being keto because meat, what kind of meat do you got, right? Oh, what kind of meat do you really have? It's simple. Right? And if you don't like the dressings and you don't want to use their dressings, take a little vial of homemade yeah, or your dressing does. in your purse. Your purse is your friends, ladies. It really is. Stick them in your purse. Like Powell, she made that. Oh, yeah, that dressing. That dressing. She was, just brought, oh, whipped it out. It great, the, man. No, she wait, a big wait, tub wait, of it like Yeah, this, it was right? wonderful. Set it out on the man, table. Man, we, and that was so was good. Great. And you guys, that was the first time I think I'd ever lost weight after eating out. Too, I know. Because I didn't was. have the dressing. Weight. I didn't have the chicken uh, buffalo sauce or any of that stuff. And it was fabulous. It was absolutely yeah. fabulous. And nobody said a thing. And I always whip out, you know, my creamer, my... Um, liquid uh stevia drops salt. my salt now tonight i uh you know if you whip out that uh what's it called redmond's real salt mm. sorry my mind went Whoop. the smoked salt you whip that out and nobody's ever said anything yeah, so says nothing yeah. care. so we just take it and we just go i saw a lady at a restaurant oh it was several months ago Several months ago, she had a bottle of Hidden Valley Ranch dressing on her table. She was eating a salad, and she whipped that out of her purse and put it on the table. So I'm sure a lot of them are, or I, when we have gone to Joe's Diner in the past, we asked the wife, because it's a family-owned restaurant, if I brought my bread, that's when we were doing the Protein Spray Modified Fast or the BBBE, mm -hmm. BBBE mm -hmm. challenge. And I had two slices of our bread. That I took with us and I said would you mind we're not paying for the potatoes we're not paying for the toast but I brought special bread that we can eat she says oh yeah she says, did you want me to toast that for you hun I said no I don't need it toasted but I'm gonna slip it underneath our we got the hamburger patty yeah and the eggs but she was gonna toast it for us yeah, yeah she's gonna toast it because you know I said don't bring the potatoes don't bring the toast just bring the hamburger patty yeah. black Angus hamburger patty and eggs so don't be afraid to do that, you guys. Um, really, it really, really, really makes a huge difference. It truly does. And if you can bring that food, wow. then you can really make it your way. You know, deviled eggs are so easy to make. They're so easy to make and when you go really out delicious. And you come home and the following day you lose weight? Yeah, that's a win. That's a big win. That's because a huge it's just win. like all of a sudden the thing will pop in your head. Oh. I get it now. I can I do this. I just don't do yeah. this, this, and this, and I can go out. Well, Harry always told me every time we go and eat at the Longhorns and I get the uh, buffalo dressing so and the, yeah. and the what is it, the ranch dressing they put with it. And he goes, I don't eat that, Wendy. Don't eat that, <laughs> don't Wendy. Eat You're going to gain weight. Don't eat that, Wendy. So when we went with uh, Paula and Al and met them there, and she whipped out her dressing, which was delicious, by the way. Oh, my gosh, it was delicious. Yeah, light bulb went on over used her. Used it. And then the next day I got on the scale, I was like, Harry. Harry, come here. Come check this out, man. Come check this out. And he was like, oh, my gosh. And then he, like, got on the scale. He was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. We both lost weight. Yeah. And we had New York steak, and we had Brussels sprouts, and we had chicken wings that we shared, and we had that dressing, and it was absolutely delicious. Oh, it was great. And it worked. So, anyway, you guys, I just want to tell everybody, we are getting close to the surgery. We are going to do a film for... Tuesday because we filmed the night before but then we're gonna have a few days where you're not probably not going to see anything right? Right, because we don't know we're we're planning for the worst but hoping for the best yes we are so we don't know how long it's gonna be before I can actually stand up do stuff you know sit out at the desk edit stuff we don't know I might be the next day I don't know so right so if you don't see anything from us don't think the worst. And you yeah. guys, I will post on Loving It on Keto with Wendy fans Facebook page. If you guys have not joined, here's the uh, link to it or here's how you go to it. Right, mm -hmm. Harry? Mm -hmm. And I will post that, you know, Harry's surgery as well. Let you guys know so you guys don't worry about us. But I have been hot and cold running Wendy. Going back and forth for my mom, for my mom's dog and everything. We were going to film a couple of things ahead of time. 
We have not been It'll able work to. Out. And my sister is flying in, and she's flying into Mesa Airport, so that's about an hour drive. And then she wants to go see mom, and then I have to go grocery shopping for her. I have to go to my mom's house and get her refrigerator and her crisper and stuff like that because she's. It's been like two weeks, and there was a lot of stuff going bad. So I got that, gutted that, washed everything. You know, picked up the yard from the dog, straightened Ida's bed and all the good stuff so that when Lori comes in, because she's going to be tired, we can go straight to see mom and then, you know, grocery shopping and everything. So we have not had a chance to That's do tomorrow. extra stuff. I know it's tomorrow, Sunday. So you're hitting the ground running again I'm tomorrow. hitting the ground running tomorrow again. So we just want to share with you because normally we have been able to film and show something every single day every yeah. single day and i think this is the one time if you guys want to see us you're going to have to go back to the reruns and you guys are going to have to binge watch us and see because there's going to be a couple days where there's not going to yeah, be we, anything we don't up. know we don't. he was going to teach me and my computer crashed and died so and then i had to gut my desk of all my company stuff because they let me leave early because of what happened with my mom so i had to get that stuff back and packed and you know, so then Harry had to get everything ready for me for my new stuff. So it's just been this little tumbleweed that's just rolling just, along. We, we can't it's catch just up. Rolling along, we and it's like yeah. I can almost touch it and get caught up. And then Monday, I'm stripping beds, washing stuff, you know, scrubbing down the bathroom that he's going to be using, get everything ready for him. So when he comes back, you know, I've got a place. Um, a recliner that I'm going to put clean sheets on and then I've got the bed ready and all those things So I'm going to be very busy on Monday getting the house clean because I haven't been able to do my house Since all this happened either So, you know, I'm planning all these things. I have the to-do list and I'm just going along mm. um, And trying to get stuff ready and planning ahead like Harry said we plan for the worst plan for everything what could possibly happen we plan for it we stock for it we get ready and prepare for it go shopping for it and then it usually falls somewhere in the middle and that's perfectly fine because if i have stuff i need to put away that i never ended up using that would be great um going by what happened with me and my hip surgery trying to get the same things that happened so a lot of a lot of uh new things have come about they're doing his hip surgery totally different than mine i had my hip surgery done april of uh actually what day is it today no it was march 29th yep so i had oh, mine wow. yep in 2014 mm -hmm. so um mine was on the side and i had a scar about this long it's with no drain and I had major seepage and a lot of stuff. He's having his done right on top. It's robotic. It's uh, arthroplasty that they're doing on him. The scar is going to be much smaller and sometimes they send people home the same day. Yeah. Same it's day, you guys. It's, it's like an now. outpatient surgery center. So they got R2-D2 doing mine. Yeah. So it's going to be quite interesting for me to see the differences with Harry. They may do like a pain block because they did do that when I had my knee surgery. They did a pain block that lasted five days, which was very nice. He goes in for his first PT, his physical therapy, the 15th. Yeah. Three days after he gets his surgery done, he's in physical therapy. We go back to the doctor and they do it right there and it's an hour of PT. So he is literally hitting the ground running afterwards. So I'm trying to get everything done, work with mom, work with my sister, work with my husband, trying to get stuff done. So, and I'm planning, I'm constantly planning the night before, this is what you have to do tomorrow and get it all listed. And if I can get them all done, that's wonderful. If I can't, I shove something to the bottom, put that to the next one. It's like an in basket and an out basket, right? Constantly moving. And it's the same way with, um, having fun and enjoying Easter and celebrating Easter. Um, it's a religious holiday for me, you know, my Lord and Savior, you know, he has risen and we celebrate that on Easter. I don't need to go somewhere to celebrate that. So um, it's, it's very personal. You know, I, if I had little kids, we'd be doing, I would still do for my kids. We would do the Easter egg hunt. We would do the whole thing. So plan for success, you guys, and you will succeed. You will succeed more than than you would if you didn't have any plan. So remember, 
plan for success, you guys, and it'll happen. Anyway, everybody, I think we've yeah, talked enough. Good. As usual, I'm the one If you made it all the way through this far. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing good. Anyway, everybody, and Sally's just sitting here listening to the whole Same thing. Same thing with the other channel. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, My uh, keto cooking with Wendy. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not sure how that's going to, if we're going to get one up every day or not. I don't know yet. I just don't know yet. I, I, that I was the least of our problems. Yeah. We want a safe surgery 100% right. recoup want my mom to get better want my sister to get settled well I'm trying to get and the hours up so if you guys remember last time I told you we were 86 hours <laughs> now we're at two about 2001 hours for the uh, new channel for the new channel that's the keto cooking with Wendy go here go check it out help us grow those hours you guys up, up here. oh yeah Help us grow those hours. Go watch those. And you guys, uh, when we're done with Harry, I will be putting some new cooking things on there and help grow that channel as well. Yeah. I just wish I could clone myself. That's all I can say. They haven't gotten that far yet. If I could step into like the uh, TARDIS time machine phone booth and come out as two Wendy's, that would be awesome. One I don't think the world could handle two Wendy's. <laughs> That's right. And you said I got to buy a bigger purse. Yeah. Anyway, you guys. I wasn't talking to you. Yes, you were. No. Yes, you were. Oh, don't you be mean to we're me. We're going anywhere. Don't you Easter. be mean to me. Here. I think we need to say goodnight. Good night. Don't forget to like, subscribe, <laughs> ring that little bell. Give us a thumbs up, you guys. We'll see you right here tomorrow for sure. Oh. Good night, everyone. It is. Tomorrow we are doing it. I know. She's so cute. She just likes it here. Mm -hmm. She likes this way. Don't just sound here. She likes it when come to visit me. Yeah. She does. She, she likes to visit me. She likes to visit her. Okay. Can you get up? Yeah.